with the success of chart standard clubs from 2001, we were receiving a lot of interest from leagues around becoming chart standard. So in 2009, we rolled out chart standard leagues, and since then we've never looked back. It puts everyone on a level playing field. So if you go from venue A to venue B, you expect to see the same things. So it's a nice environment to be in. And parents buy into that. It's all about raising the standards. I think in the past, club secretaries have worked very much uh, on an ad hoc basis. Uh, now they know exactly what's expected of them. The need for Charter Standard Leagues has been driven by leagues wanting to improve standards in refereeing, in coaching, in administration and in behaviour amongst parents and players. Has enabled us to grow, um, but grow at the right pace to develop youth football. And I think the Charter Standard, along with the FA Respect programme, really helps us try and achieve that. It gives us a, an opportunity to ensure the players are well disciplined and in fact we have a code of conduct for our players and our managers and our clubs. It raises the benchmark for us as a league and it means our standards have to be high. The key benefit for leagues when they achieve charter standard is an enhanced support package from their county football association. They can receive support around refereeing, around coach education, about the implementation of respect and towards increasing or retaining the numbers of teams they have in their leagues. Often club administrators feel that there's going to be an extra burden on them, but actually it's a very simple and straightforward process and the county FA officers support us in that young referees coming into the game. We're able to offer them the opportunities to get involved in the game in a big way. We offer Charter Standard Clubs and Leagues a free legal advice helpline service uh, that's been set up by the FA. This allows the clubs and leagues to call us literally on any legal query that they may have over a range of issues from property matters to safeguarding issues and disputes to employment matters. For any small amateur club, finance and revenue are going to be crucial. Being a cask affords a club an excellent opportunity to make significant tax savings, to get the benefit of personal gift aid donations, and also to get significant rate relief of a minimum of 80%. It like, brings everyone together, all the friends and stuff, and we're all nice boys. Don't get into trouble on the streets or anything. You get better referees and officials and the... You get to meet new friends, uh, play football with each other, learn different things. It's not all about scoring, it's, all, it's about for if, um, if you enjoy it and stuff.